Champions, shout fire! Shout Ruru! Shout Muzuzu! Shout Mafura! Amen and amen. amen! I want to thank the presence of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. And also want to thank our Father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Now, to our young people, I want to tell you, the truth 
is this. The future belongs to you. Yes, sir. And, and, and that's just the truth. Yes, sir. The future belongs to you. Yes, sir. And when we mean, when we mean young people, we mean those who are mentally alert. Yes, sir. Because you can be young and behave like an old person. So we're talking about those who are mentally alert. Yes, sir. Those who are mentally alert, yes, sir. the future yes, belongs sir. to them. Yes, sir. Those who are active in the house of God. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. There are some people, they are mentally redundant. They are mental, I, I, quite frankly, sometimes I just wonder if those kind of people will ever last. You need to keep your mind busy. Yes, sir. But busy with the right thing. Yes, sir. I want to talk to you about something the Holy Spirit brought to me. And it's titled The Loneliness of the Supernatural. The Loneliness of the Supernatural. Yes, walking in the supernatural can be lonely, but it shouldn't be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The loneliness of the supernatural. Yes, sir. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isaiah 51. Let, let's look at Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Yes, sir. Verses 2. He says, Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you, that gave birth to you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. So here, God is acknowledging. God is acknowledging. He said, When I called Abraham, I called him alone. For what reason? So that I can bless him and increase him. So, when God calls you, Isaiah 51 verses 2, when, when God calls you, he doesn't call a multitude with you. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He calls you alone. And this brings us to one thing. Some of you, 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 until you get the right, you can't think of coming to church. Until somebody comes to pick you up. I'm not talking to you, Mr. Christopher. No, I'm not talking to you. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those that I'm talking to. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are some people until they get it right, they will not come to church. I'm not talking to you, Brother Christopher. I hope you know that. Huh? From the bottom of my heart, I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So be at peace. I'm not talking to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After say, Brother Christopher will come and apologize to me. You <laughs> see, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm not talking to you. <laughs> really, I'm actually not referring to you. But there are people like that, that until they get it right, they will not come to church. You need to understand, what if that's what God needs to see? You wonder why God has not given you a car yet. Because you have not given God a reason for why he should get you a car. Recently, we were going to buy a car for someone, actually. Three months ago, we wanted to say, okay, fine. Let me, let, let's buy a car for so-so person. Let's bless this person as a surprise. And the Lord said, don't do it. Wow. I said, but so-so person, the Lord said, look, find something else to do with the money. Wow. But don't buy a car for so-so person. I said, but Lord, this person has a challenge. This person, the Lord said, look, I told you, don't buy that car for this person. Because God knows that even though he can see what your need is, he knows that meeting that need does not benefit him. 
God doesn't know what to benefit. You know, there are some people, they will still come late even if they have a car. They were coming late before they had a car. Even when they got the car, they will still come mega late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will still yes, come sir. late. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they don't think something happened. They expect that the pastor should understand. After all, the pastor also has a car. Have you ever wondered why your car is always having a malfunction? Because there are things God may not be comfortable with about you. And you may not know it. You pay tithe, you give, you give offerings, you speak in tongues. But there are some things God is still not comfortable with. He says, when I called Abraham, and Abraham did not have a car. I called him alone yes, sir. Yes, sir. so that I can bless him and increase him, he said. Mm-hmm. So that I can bless him. You know, one day I was trying to talk to a friend, and the friend said, Can I call you? I'm a bit busy. I said, You are not busy. All the things you have been busy about has not done anything for you. Can't you see? I'm still better than you. Actually, he's somebody I can really tell those things. And he told me honestly. That's why I'm trying to put things in place. I say, every time you're always trying to put things in place. And you have never been able to put anything in place. And it doesn't that tell you something? That you're really missing the ultimate. But the ultimate looks so insignificant to you. And he told me, hey, it's because you already have a church. I said, but remember, we both came to America at the same time. We both started. You knew where I lived in Brooklyn. He said he wanted to go to school. And I said, fine, go to school. I've already gone to school. But for me, I want to pursue God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he told me I made a mistake for not taking the offer on Wall Street. I said, but can't you see, say, I'm still better than you. Yes, you are still hustling. You are still, listen. He says, when I called Abraham, I called him alone. And when I did, I blessed him and increased him. It doesn't mean increase him in physical size. It just means increase his substance. That means God, when he says increase, yeah, he speaks of value. You know, God says, I increased his value. Yes, sir. He, came, he became very essential in the lives of men. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One day I decided to just sit down. I said, let me listen to John C. Maxwell. Because people are talking about John C. Maxwell. He has written several books. So I said, let me just listen to him. Let me just give 10 minutes to his teach. And I listened. I just shook my head. I'm not saying what he's saying is wrong. It does make sense. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He plays with the mind very well. He plays with people's mind because he brings logic, which is good. His Christian life is not my business. But I was amazed to see that. If I were to be his customer, I don't think he can win me over. Because I don't know the value he can add to my life. But thousands of people would travel to come and sit down to listen to him. Why? Because he's someone that God has increased his value. Such that even if he says nonsense, it will be of value to you. Abraham did not go to school. But God says, I will increase your value. You will become needed. Yes, sir. sir. He didn't get it. (coughs) John C. Maxwell, whatever he said, did not move me. But why is he successful? God has increased his value. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So anything he says, people will pay money for it. And when I was listening to him, I said, Lord, what is it? The Lord said, that's why you are not his customer. 
had him. I know the people I sent him to. I said, okay, fine. But what are we trying to say? There is a way God can present you to people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That will make them gravitate towards you. Yes, even sir. in business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even in business. Yes, Do you know people who have told us they wanted to join our church and I said, don't join us because you are not the person God sent me to. Go back to where you are coming from because I will never increase your value. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because God did not send me to you. I've told some people, quietly, don't come back because I am not sent to you. And it's the truth. That's why I say you can't be here now. And you are not excelling. You can't be at the bottom of the barrel. For how many years would you live that life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many years? How long will you keep living that life? Yes, sir. You don't think excellent. You don't behave excellent. You don't behave it. It can show on the clothes you wear, the shoes you wear. Do you know when I meet a man, any man I meet, the first thing I look at, I'll tell you the truth, is the shoes. <laughs> he already tells me who you are. Five. Me as a person, I've just told you. The first thing I see, the first day I met Mr. Alex, Hi. it was the shoes I saw, and he was very sick. I said, man, this sneakers looks good on this guy. What are we talking about? Yes, sir. See? Yes, sir. Wait, listen, please. Yes, Be sir. serious, man. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. <laughs> Shoes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then perfumes. Yes, sir. Before I even listen to what you have to say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't tell you what I look at for a woman. I mean, that one is not necessary. I mean, if you, if you as a woman don't know how to even be better than even a man, then you can't be helped. Yes, sir. It's just the truth. Wow. A woman does not know how to dress better than a man. You can't be helped. Wow. Can you be helped if, if a woman does not know? <laughs> but maybe you can't help them, but people like that, you can't help them. But he says, when I called Abraham, yes, sir. I called him yes, sir. alone, then I blessed him. Yes, sir. The word blessed there is the word Barak, which means the blessing that I pronounced on him is a, is a curse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means I cursed him, because the same word Barak also means curse. God is actually saying, I cursed Abraham with a blessing. Do you understand? The blessing in the life of Abraham became a curse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not against him. For him. For him and for anyone who attempts to come close and to favor him. Do you understand? His blessings became contagious. But God says, in order to reach many families, I called one man alone. Abraham was walking in the supernatural, yet he did not preach any sermon one day. Did not write any book of the Bible. Never wrote any book. Do you know that? Abraham never wrote, but many authors made references to him in their books, yet they never saw him face to face. Except for Moses who saw him in a vision. But he says, when I called Abraham, I called him alone. Yes, sir. I called him alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yeah, what, what did the Lord mean by, by being called alone? Go to Luke, Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14. Let's go to verses 25. He says, when I called Abraham, I called him alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blessed him and increased his value. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He became needed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the only way people can put money in your hands. Wow. Until you are needed, people won't give you money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the truth. Yes, sir. Some of you, you say you have business ideas. Do people need your idea? Mm. Otherwise, they won't give you money. Sure, sir. If you already run, you want to propose a service that others are already running, mm. <laughs> you are not needed. Imagine three tailors on one block. Why should I need you? Someone say, I'm the only one who can 
who can give you a crest, a golden crest. The others don't have it. Fine, we will need that. Yes, Let sir. me see samples of your golden crest. Ah, I like this. Then I need you. Yes, sir. So, so tailor, sew the dress. I'll go and put the crest. The guy who owns the crest says, no, I can still sew your dress too and put the crest. Say, ah. Then you take my clothes, sew it. Yes, sir. You see? Yes, sir. What are you needed for? The guy is selling weed. They are making money. Because they know people need them. Yes, sir. I know you don't smoke weed. Neither do I. But those guys are making money. Yes, sir. And they come to church and give offering. Pastor does not ask. Yes, sir. And we don't need to know. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when the pastor says, all businessmen stand up, the guy stands up. Mm -hmm. And you can say, how can you call yourself a businessman? You, you that sell California weed. Is <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. He is more successful in business than you. Can't you see the last commitment? He gave more than you. Yeah. Somebody say, I will surely get there. Slow and steady win yeah, the race. In this, in this pandemic, slow. you are still doing slow and steady. <laughs> oh, no. If people can even need what would destroy them, Think about giving people what they should need that will help them. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody say, how, how do I win people to Christ? I, I, I've been telling people about Jesus, uh, about Jesus, and I'm not able to win them to Christ. And, and the person was surprised when I said, don't preach Jesus. He said, but in the Bible, the Bible said we should preach Jesus. I said, they did it in the Bible, but don't preach Jesus. Yes, sir. So what should I preach? Share your testimony exactly. of what Jesus or the Lord did for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I shared with those who knew where you used to be. Yes. Who are surprised at where you are now. Yes, but you are too ashamed to tell the people who knew where you used to be, how you got to where you are. Yes, sir. See, if I mention God now, they will feel embarrassed. You know, they will tell me spirit cocoa. Mm -hmm. But that's an opportunity to win them over. Yes, sir. You see, yes, you never thought that your product, your, your healing was essential. Yes, sir. But when God healed you, he just increased your value. Yes, because there were many people who had that same infirmity, but God healed you alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, I guess we are obsessed. Yes, because healing is a blessing of God. Yes, and then he increased your value. Yes, so that you can become needed. Yes, sir. And people will tell you, how is it done? How is it done? And that's how the likes of them, John C. Maxwell and many yeah, others today yes, came. Sir. It was one breakthrough that they got and they began to tell people how they got it. Yes, sir. So they became needed. Yes, sir. Your job is not what will increase your value. Even no matter how valuable they think, they lie to you, you are. They will still fire you. They will still retire you. You don't know. That cake that they are cutting to celebrate your birthday in the office, they are marking it too. This one, this one is going on. <clears throat> and there went great multitudes with him. Great multitudes. Yes, sir. John, sorry, Luke 14, verses 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man, now notice, he's, he's trying to single it out. If any man, anyone, come after me, he must hate. The word hate there actually means leave. Yes, sir. He must leave. If any man comes after me and leave not his father and mother, and wife, and bread, and children, and brethren, and sisters, that means siblings, yes. yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Because it is the same principle. When I called Abraham, I called him alone. Yes, sir. And God is saying, do you think I don't know you have a mother or a father? Do you think I don't know you have siblings? 
You know, some parents will say to the a child is interested in the things of God, living for the Lord. And the parents say, why don't you consider your brothers and sisters here? They don't even see you. How often do you talk to your siblings? I know that. Come home all the time, every time, church, 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 church. And they say, ah, I feel bad. And even one of your siblings say, yeah, it feels like you don't love me anymore. And begins to cry. Yeah. That should never move you one bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, when I called Abraham, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I called him alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By the way, who gave you the siblings you have? Is it not God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did God say to Adam? He said, because you have decided to listen to the voice of your wife. But who gave him the woman? God himself. God says, the woman that I gave you. You now decided to listen to her instead of me. You are a customer. Hey! And he lived for 930 years in a course. Nothing was working for him. 930 years. Because of one thing. Listening to the voice of his wife. Instead of God. It cost him everything. We've seen many people run down their destiny. Their destiny, their glorious destiny was drained. Because they did this. What, I'm just, what we just told you. Many times, some people came, they were fervent for the Lord, yes. zealous, yes, but family members told them to consider them. Mm. Brother Ossie, Brother Ossie, Brother Ossie can change on you. Brother Ossie will live one day, but family will never live. If something happens <laughs> to you, who will come? Is it Brother Ossie that will come and help you? <laughs> they said those things ahead of them over and over again. And what they didn't know is that the Lord said, when I called Abraham, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I called him alone. Yes, sir. Yet Abraham had a wife. Yes, sir. God said, actually, Sarah was not supposed to go with him. Yes, it was him that I called. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. In case you don't understand, go to verses 26 so that you don't think we'll make it up. Jesus, if any man come to me, and hate not his father. That means leave now, not hate. Doesn't mean you should hate them. You should just leave them. Because you will always leave. Is it that God takes you away or your job will take you away? Amen now. All school take you away. But they never complain when you go to school. But when you are around them, serving God, they complain. Meanwhile, another sibling is schooling far away in another state. You are still in the same house with your siblings. And they are complaining. In case something happens to you, eh, in case this virus now, the pandemic get to you. So the pandemic will get to him or her because they come to church. Mm. But the other child that is in another state, you don't know where she goes to or where he goes to. You never worried about the pandemic for them. He says, if any man come to me and leave not his father and mother and wife, notice that wife, and that is true to what the Lord said. When I called Abraham, I called him alone. Which means some of the things we later see about Sarah's experience with Abraham never, never should have happened to be recorded. It was because Abraham just felt that, look, since God called me, yeah, family, everybody, let's go. And they followed him. There were issues. And the issues Abraham ever had in his life was with family, not with God. Yes, it was sir. with family, yes, sir. Yes, sir. not with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And each time God wanted to talk to Abraham, God will always come when nobody is there. That's true, sir. It is Abraham that will go and call others. God has come. And God is saying, when I called you, it is you alone. Yes, sir. That I call. Yes, sir. Do, you, do, you, do you know I have siblings? Yes, sir, yes, sir. They watch our teachings. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I do have siblings. Yes, sir. And there's nothing they've not said to me. And it's amazing. It doesn't move me. And sometimes I wonder whether I, I am real. You see, sometimes those things may want to get to you. But you must come to a point where you just know that look, for me to be ever be relevant, I don't need a crowd. Family, no one ever succeeded with family. With God, no one ever succeeded with family. 
I mean, how did Joseph become prime minister? How did Joseph become? Well, was it with his father no, Jacob? Was but it was his father who encountered the angel. Yes, it was his father that was the Rima called, yes, the man yes, of God. Yes, 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 right? Yes, sir. Joseph was not called man of God. Yes, sir. But God was now with Joseph when he left family. Yes, sir. All the while he was at home, it was his father that was with him. So in close, he will wear. His father became his tailor. Coat of many colors. He will be changing different styles. But the moment the guy left home, God now came. I was now with Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Samuel the Seer never knew what a normal home was. From one year old, he was brought to Eli, living in somebody's house. Yes, sir. And his father was a wealthy guy. Elkanah was a wealthy dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In case you don't know, Elkanah was very yes, wealthy. Yes, sir. Yet the guy never went to. The mother was so close from where they were and bring to him exactly. to wear. And he couldn't really wear them because he was serving in the temple. And the Bible says he wore the ephod. Yes, so, mommy, if you must bring me clothes, bring me the ephod. Yes. Sew it and bring it. You think he never heard about his siblings wearing the latest style, some of them getting married. Never went for the marriage ceremony of any of his siblings. I'm not saying you can't attend the marriage ceremony of your siblings. But this guy became the prophet. From seven years old. Yes, sir. And the Bible says no word from his mouth ever fell to the ground. Question, where are his siblings? That's what we're saying. Because family can choke your value. They can choke the value God wants to give you. I'm not saying you should be anti. I'm not, you know when we preach, people say, I'm anti-family. You can say whatever you want. And the people who are saying they are family-minded, family-oriented, they are not in any way better in their lives. They are the ones who suffer the witchcraft the most because it is somebody in the family that is attacking yes, them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yes, Someone in the family is the one yes, fighting. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God says, when I called Abraham, I called him alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, children. So I said, Daddy, we want you in our life. Every time, church, 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 church. Yes. Go and sit down. Okay, so you want your daddy in your life. What would daddy do in your life? He will be there for me bonding. You know, those, those, things, those things are cosmetic nonsense that you want to bond with your child. Are you not the one who gives birth to the child? Yes, sir. Which other bond do you need again? <laughs> Psychological bonding, psychology. The Bible says the seed of the righteous will be saved. This is my seed. Forget. The, the see, this child carries the blood that the we blood, are. Yes, sir. Divinity at yes, work. Yes, when we give birth to you, we give birth to divinity. Yes, sir. Which other bonding do we need? We were already bonded when you came through the canals of, of your mother. I'm not saying you can't spend time with your child. With all the time your father spent to you, you yes. still turned out stupid. Oh. You still turned out. Oh. I can't see many men. Yeah. Until daddy says it is okay, they can't do anything. Exactly. They can't make choices. Ah. Elkanah never made any choice for Samuel, the seer. The Bible said no word from his mouth fell to the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If demons are not afraid of what you say as a child, ah, daddy messed you up there. Ah. Yeah. That is the truth. Yeah. I mean, think about it. My yeah. biological father was really not in my life. But, I mean, I just know that if he was, I don't think I would have come this far, quite frankly. I don't think I would have come this yes, far. Sir. Yes, sir. With this kind of world that we live in, sir. you think it's for the lily livered? No. no. It's for the jelly? No. 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 Hey, see, listen. He, you know, a, a lot of women are the ones who cry for those things. Hey, hey, that's, a son needs his father in his life. He has you. <laughs> exactly. hey, he, he has you, the mother. Hey, you mother, you know me. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Listen. Listen. The child, the, the child doesn't need to. If he wants to know about his father, ask the mother. Because the mother knows the man she slept with that gave up 
the child. Yes, sir. Period. Yes, sir. You want to know, and, 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 and don't start cursing the father. Say that your father is a stupid man. <laughs> that your father, he broke my heart. He got me pregnant. He is crazy. He, it will not be well with him. Oh, 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 no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because, don't forget, if it's a son you have that you are talking to, and you are discussing this, he will do it to another woman. Wow. If his father did this, he's likely to do it to another woman. Wow. But you need to teach him how to value women by not speaking against his father. Because if you are telling him how the father treated you, you are actually showing him that this is how men see women. And he will grow up seeing women that way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. It's true. Wow. Wow. And the guy later on grows up and he cannot understand why, the, why his girlfriend cannot behave like his mother. Uh -uh. My mother, uh, my father even did worse things. Uh, my mother accommodated it. So why can't you? See, wow. see, because the, his own mother has raised him in a way to thinking unconsciously to the mother and to him that this is how men grow. Ah. So, but I'm raising you up to be a better man. If you are raising him up to be a better man. Show him other people. If his father is not really a success, show him other men who succeeded. Exactly, sir. Show him other exactly, men. Yes, sir. You yes, can sir. be the governor of this state. Yes, yes sir. sir. You can tell your son that. Yes, sir. Let him know that there are men who are better than his father. Yes, sir. But to not say your father, what your father did, is a bad man. Your father, oh, shh. Ah. It will never be well with him, Boniface. Wherever hey, you are, it will never be well with him. The sun will smite you by day, the moon hey, by night. Hey. It, it, and the guy is listening to it. And don't lose. See, one of the easiest ways to lose the trust of your son is to force your son to bear your own name because his father left you. No, say, bear your father's name so that you will know. Let your father know that you are a different person yes, a different in that family. Yes, sir. But to not say, uh, my name is Kelly McIntosh. So you are not JC McIntosh. Come on, don't do that. First of all, he will grow up knowing that he's not McIntosh. It is you. And that's not good for him. That's not good. Because he will leave the name you give him. And you, woman, you know the family you are coming from. He will start behaving like his uncle, which is your brother. Because the marking touch, they know how they behave. Yes, wow. Now, the Lord said, when I called Abraham, I called him alone. Now, Jesus said here, Who, whosoever wants to come after me, the person must leave father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters. Yea, and his own life also. See? He must forsake his personal pursuits. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't have pursuits. Yes, sir. But it just simply means that whatever you have planned for your life, God has something better. Yes, sir. No matter yes, what sir. you have planned for your life, yes, sir. God has something better. Yes, sir. That's just what it means. Yes, sir. So Jesus here is telling you, if you must walk with God, you must come empty. Yes, sir. Mm. You must come free from attachment, entanglements. Yes, sir. What if the day we're having Thanksgiving, family Thanksgiving, that's the day we're having a crusade in church? So I say, Pastor, please let me just go for family Thanksgiving and all that. He, imagine if Samuel said that to Eli. Mm -hmm. sir, you know, our family is having um, um, priest Eli, sir. My, our family is having a, a, a ceremony, uh, a carnival. Uh, our father is hosting some elders there. Please allow me to just go home for just the weekend mm -hmm. and all that. There's no record that such thing ever happened to Samuel. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. You think he didn't know Eli was not his father? His father used to come once every year to the temple to come and worship. The father only came there to worship God once every year. And he would look at his father and go and do his service. His father knew, <laughs> I'm not your father. God, did, God owns you. Are you someone God can lay claims to? 
If God can lay claims with you to you, what will He not do with your life? Yes, sir. Man. We read about the people God used. What will God not do with your life? Yes, sir. And I know you are a mommy's boy. You are a, you are a father's girl. So that, that's why. But what, what, what don't you think God has something better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Well, what can God give me? Uh -uh. Everything. More than this bicycle my, my daddy bought me on my. Uh, more than this car yes. my, my mommy bought me. Yes, sir. If your mommy bought you a car, Think of what God can do yes, for you. Exactly, God yes, can do yes, far better. better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Imagine if God mm. says, choose. Your mommy buy you a car or I give you a grace that will make you heal any accident case. Yes, 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 yes. Which one would you prefer? Because people will always use their cars to have accidents. <laughs> and there are some cases hospitals can't handle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> So which one, which one would you prefer? Yes. Apostle Peter was a fisherman. Jesus said, I will make you very essential yes. to men. Yes. You yes. fish men. Yes, sir. Is that not madness? Yes. So much madness, sir. You understand? <laughs> so imagine if Simon was a blacksmith. Jesus would say, you blacksmith men. <laughs> He said, you fish men. Yes, fish sir. men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, men are in a sea. Mm. And men are all kinds of fishes. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You mm. must know which mm. one yes, sir. Yes, sir. to yes, sir. fish. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I don't know why this kind of people always come into my life. It's because of the kind of hook that you are. Yes, or the kind of fisherman you are. Jesus said, don't be a man or a woman with so much family baggage. Because he's addressing the matter of family here. Yes, sir. Now, here, he already told you, from what we can see here, Jesus is already making us see that Satan is really not the problem of a Christian family yes, sir. and you yes, sir. you can be your own problem too he says you must be free from yourself too your own life he said what does that mean to be free from yourself you must not be someone in pursuit only of your own ambition yes, sir. unselfishly yes, sir. without thinking what God has for you some say, but I don't know what God has for you. That's why you need to ask the minister. And I want to ask my pastor to tell me what God wants me to do before I start. Hey. That's not how it works. The university who admitted you in college, did they tell you what you should be? No. no. Or would they tell you? No. no. It's up to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you will be? Yes, sir. They, they know they registered you for medicine. Yes, sir. But it's up to you whether you will graduate. Yes, Not sir. up to them. It's yes, up to you whether you will graduate as a doctor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know that it's really up to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know the power of God, the beauty of the power of God, or the authority, let's put it this way, the sovereignty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, most, the most beautiful thing yes, sir. or the most potent thing or the potency of the sovereignty of God is that God allows you to choose. Yes. Yes. yes Yet he has what it takes to make you listen to him. Yes. Sir. yes. But he still allows you to choose. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. That's the beauty of his sovereignty. Yes. 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 So that when you finally go to hell fire mm. or lake of fire, mm. you will know that it was your choice that took you there. Mm. The one who has a better end for you, don't you think you should decide how you begin and the middle of your life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, here, he says, um, be empty. You must decide. Mm. And this Jesus that is talking was the same guy who refused to go home when he was age 12. Mm. 
They had to be looking for him for four days. When they finally found him, even though he followed them on home, but he has been able to prove one thing. I really want to be free yes. from yes, this thing. Yes, sir. This family entanglement. Yes, sir. Now, what is the purpose of family in your life? Would you like to know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you like to know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Submission. Submission to obey. Yes, sir. That's the only purpose. They are to initiate that training in your life. Yes, sir. Because God will need it. Yes, sir. So if you are not taught, if you are not taught as a child, don't do this. Don't pull in public. Go to the bathroom. If you are not taught that as a child, if you come to God, you will mess up. Exactly, sir. And that is why there are so many parents today who will still never escape what their children became. Even though their children are grown-ups, God still is holding that against them. So you don't need to advocate you need daddy in your life. God knows how to fix daddy. Even if daddy chose to run away, God knows how to fix it. And that's why parents who really abandon their children and just go like that, never excel. They are never fulfilled in life. Even if they have so much money, they are never happy. Yeah. Their lives are always scattered yes, because the thing that was to bring joy to them was them setting their child that God gave them as a gift of trust yes. to be on the right path. God had to wait for 17 years for King David. God gave King David's father, Jesse, 17 years to adjust the guy. And Jesse did what he did. And God still honored him. He was to only set the guy on the right path for 17 years of his life, period. That's where it ends. God says, just do, just take care of him for 17 years and I'll take over. Is that not what Paul said in Galatians chapter 4 verses 2? An heir, as long as he's a child, he's not different from a slave. Even though he's the Lord of all, but he's placed under tutors and governors. Your father and mother are tutors. Yes, sir. Your professor in class are the governors. Yes, sir. Your boss at work is also a governor. Yes, sir. He's placed under tutors and governors until the appointed time of the father. So for Jesse, God's contract with him for raising King David was to only last 17 years, the first 17 years of his life. And God took him for, and handed him over to Samuel the seer, the same Samuel who was given to God from one year old. Yes, King David had the privilege to enjoy family for 17 years. Whether it was a good experience or not is not our business. But Samuel didn't even have that luxury, not even for one year. Yes, sir. How were you raised? It would, the way you were raised would determine how far you really go. You see, some of us, the people may call us diehard Christians. You may not understand why we live the kind of life we live. And if you're expecting a bread and butter journey with God, you can never have value. You can't. Do you know what it means for God to interrupt a man's marital life of peace? Abraham, sorry, Moses was enjoying a marriage of peace for 40 years. Do you understand? Yes, Peaceful marital life. Do you understand? Yes, he married at 40. Do you understand? Yes, Peaceful. He was at peace. Is that not peaceful? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was at peace. Yes. Yes, God came and said, brother, it's time. Yes, that thing was just to last 40 years. Oh, yeah. Now, let's start work. Yes, <laughs> I give you 80 years for yourself. Okay, now, let's show you something. Oh, oh. Where are you? Galatians. No, no, no. Go to Luke. Luke chapter 14. You see, let, let's tell you something. Let's read from verses 25 to verses 30. Can you all read for me? Yes, sir. Okay, one to go. And they went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, 
If any man comes to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intended to build a tower, sit the man down first and count it all, whether he has sufficient to finish it. See that? Okay, read on verse 29 now. Let's have him after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. All that the old is begun to mock him. You see that? You see, here, Jesus is telling, teaching us, or is revealing a mystery. The secret behind the mystery of finishing well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, over the years, we've heard preachers preach about the anointing for finishing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I pray that God will give you more anointing to finish well. well maybe some of you haven't heard. Yeah, we have. So please answer us. Yes, right? sir. We have heard some preachers because yes, we've heard sir. some preachers. Yes, sir. I've attended meetings in the past where some preachers will say, may God give you the anointing to finish well. That's and true, we sir. all shouted him. Yes, 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 some don't say anointing. Some will say grace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's popular really. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, receive grace to finish well. Yes, sir. And we said I receive. Ah. And all that. But here, Jesus is revealing a secret here. That the ability to finish in life is not spiritual. Yes, sir. The ability to finish well in life has nothing whatsoever to do with the anointing. Even though preachers talk about the anointing for finishing well, here, Jesus is saying, it has nothing to do with the anointing. Being able to finish well in your life has nothing whatsoever to do with the anointing. Mm. Yes, Neither has it anything to do with grace. Mm. Yes, sir. Grace is for helping those in need. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. The anointing to finish well does not exist. There's no such thing. Neither is there a grace to finish well. Yes. Jesus here said something. Go to verses 28. <clears throat> See something. For which of you, intending to build a tower, seated not down first and counted the cost? This is what it takes to finish well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must count the cost. Yes. And you must always have it in your mind every day. Yes, sir. That it will cost me to work with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will cost me. Yes, sir. And because I know what it has cost me this far, I must see the end of this matter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The end of this That's matter. That's the finishing. Yes, sir. Jesus said, which of you intend then to build a house does not sit down to count the cost first. Yes, sir. So the anointing is not needed for finishing. It is you being honest, sincere with yourself yes, sir. in acknowledging this thing will cost me. So why are you surprised that your family hates you? Mm. You can't finish well. Mm. If you are still being emotional about what your family members, your uncles think of you and your Christianity, you won't last. Mm. You are anointed. You can pray for people. People will receive miracles. But notice, Jesus is saying, to be able to finish, you must count the cost. Yes, sir. You don't need anointing. Anointing can never help you finish. Yes, sir. Anointing can never help you finish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No matter how you even try to appropriate the anointing, you can't. Because the anointing has its own intelligence yes. to know that's not what I've been sent to do in your life. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So finishing work can only be decided by you. Yes. Yes, Even before you start. Jesus says, sit down. Oh. Brother, sit down. Sit down first. He didn't even say pray. He didn't say fast. He, he said, sit down. So I say, why is it very lonely in the supernatural? Jesus said, brother, you should have sat down to think about this yes, thing yes, sir. before yes, you started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should have sat down to think about this thing. Before you started, it was going to cost you. Yeah. Nobody wants me. <laughs> he says, "See whether you have what it takes. Whether you have sufficiency. Yes, sir. Are you sufficient enough to finish? And this can only be determined truthfully by." what you have observed, the pattern of your life to have been before you became a Christian. So yeah, Jesus is saying, before you became a Christian, look back at how your life had been yes, sir. Mm. and see. You see, it's easy for me. Why? Because when I was joining the fraternity, mm. I've never gone through the kind of torture in my life like I went through. Not the fraternity they do here. You know, even when I say these things, it sounds very trivial. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at me, you don't look at somebody who can take beating. They used to beat us with rods. Ah. Rods. And you can't scream. The most you can do is, mm. Mm. And our bodies will swear. I, for one year, I could not wear boxers. I could not wear boxers for one year. See, before God is my witness, my whole back, do you understand? From buttocks down to my shin, to my ankle, yes, it peeled, it peeled. And I was not the only one, many of us, the, every day from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And as I'm telling you this, one of the people who drilled me watch our teachings every day today. And I know he will watch what we're telling you. You tell me, see, honest. They beat us with rods for one year every day. And it took two years before I was initiated. We were 500 that applied, only 30 of us were initiated. That's how serious it was. And I'm not just telling you story. When we go for meetings, we sit on caskets. So uh, it's no joke. Mm, yes, we sit on caskets. Yes, okay. And I had every reason to run away. Because those torture, actually, it's a way of discouraging people from joining. I said this thing. I must see the end of this. This Beret, you know Beret. How do you pronounce Beret? Beret. This Beret. Beret. There's a particular, I say yeah. I must wear it. Yes, sir. Because, <laughs> and there was this guy who was already a senior in the fraternity. I was just coming in. And I always see this guy looked like, this guy was a sickler. And I know that this guy, one on one, I will kill him. All. <laughs> and he's, his own specialty is to put his hand inside her eye. You just open your eye, you choke it. And you know that thing, it will blow whistle in your, <laughs> in your brain. I, I said, this guy, I won't know why I'll beat him. It was after I was initiated. And I asked, this guy, who is he? Then I said, his father is this Zona Capone. Yes, he was initiated when he was born. Wow. So he didn't go through what he went through. But I... While I was going through the drills for two years, I was always saying, if this guy made it, this sickler, I'm, because I've, I've seen him when he had crisis. And I said, if this sickler made it, I must make it. But I didn't know. What I didn't know was that he was initiated. He didn't do any of the things we went through. And in the process of time, I became a senior. He came, on, he be, he came under me and became my very good friend. And I used to feel sorry for him. But what I later told him that you were the reason why I continued. Mm. 
I used to say, if this guy made it, I must make it. I'm not a sickle. Ah. Beat me. Beat me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. Jesus is saying, look at the patterns of your life and see what you have been able to tolerate. Yes, and manage to the end before you start as a Christian. And he didn't hide it. So here, Jesus is saying, this Christianity journey is not for jokers. Yes, sir. It's not for mommy's boy. It's not for daddy's boy. It's not for play. Jesus says, sit down first and count the cost. How can you count the cost of something you have not done yet? No, look at others that have been done. Have an idea. How can you say you want to build a skyscraper and you will not go and find out how other skyscrapers were built and even see whether you really need a skyscraper or maybe a bungalow? See, President Donald Trump's financial crisis began in the 80s when he went to buy a casino in Atlantic City. And they told him, don't buy it. He said he needed money. So he told the bank he was buying a casino that was already going down. His main business was having financial issues. He now went to collect loan that he was buying the casino in Atlantic City. That's how they gave him over 800 million. Mm. Now there was enough money to pump into the Trump organization mm. and to run the casino. Yeah. And he only spent about three million, two, two to three million dollars to just touch off the front part of the casino. Yeah. But the thing already had foundational issues, structural yeah. issues. Yeah. He kept it running, kept it running. Yeah. And then went to buy. Hmm, that guy is funny. But it paid off for him. Went to, he told his contractor to go and buy gold paint. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes. Gold yes. paint. Yes, sir. He closed down the casino for like two months and secretly bought gold paint. Mm -hmm. Made his workers to sign that they will not, dis non-disclosure agreement. Yes. They painted almost everywhere gold. Mm -hmm. Shining gold. Yes, sir. Sparkling gold opened it and when the people rushed in they said wow he said yes it cost him over um ah. to, close to 600 million dollars that this is real gold wow. this and that okay. boom people threw money before long the thing started that's how he carried money went to do all that things before long he gave up on the casino the thing but what we're saying is that you see when you don't know how to finish you conceive ideas to play others Jesus is saying, look, this thing, we're not playing here. Yes, sir. Do you have what it takes to finish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying you're not good to heaven, but, but, but if you say you want to walk with me, which means the disciples who were following Jesus had already done their part. Mm -hmm. They have already considered the cost already yes, sir. to still follow Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus is saying, look, what can make you graduate from college? Or that course that you signed up for is not anointing, is not prayer, is your decision. Yes, sir. Why are you registering for medicine? When even homework, they have to beg you to finish. Homework. They have to beg. Even your mother will need that. Promise you for, for, for in the name of Jesus. Like, please, just... Just come on. Or your mother will promise you to cook. She will cook your favorite meal before you finish school calculus homework. And you think you will finish as a doctor. Fine, you passed your MCAT and got into medical school. Halfway your mother now died. Eh? Brother, you can't finish. Her. Because you never considered any course. It was your mother that was always doing it. Your mother was always the one doing it. Now nah, she's no more. So you see why sometimes when certain people die, you see somebody crying, oh, my world has crumbled. They are not lying, no. Yeah. Their world really crum crumbled. Though. Yes, sir. When they say, wake up, Cecilia, they know why they are telling Cecilia to wake up. Oh. Where will I begin from? And they are not lying. They don't know where to begin from. So how can, how can she not know where she, where she will be came from? 
Some of you, you think you've already started. Wait until somebody, something happens to someone you are looking up to. Then you will know you never started at all. Jesus said, before you start saying you want to follow me, stop it or don't see me as a role model yet. Count the cost. Count the cost. And see whether you are sufficient. You have enough to finish. That's why when I came to Christ, I said, ah, God is not even torturing me. This thing, this Christianity, we must follow it to the end. Yes, sir. If I can do it in the fraternity, yes, we must see the end of this thing. We must see the end of this matter. And I've seen ex evidences that has encouraged me to keep keeping on. Yes, sir. And guess what? In my Christian work to this day before God, all glory to God, I've never needed anyone to encourage me. I, maybe they may have encouraged you. No one has ever encouraged me. Let's just keep doing it. Someday we'll reach our breakthrough. Nobody in my life has ever done it. Not, not one person. To this day, I've been faced with challenge, but I've never needed anyone to encourage me. Never. Before God, all glory to his name. I've never needed anyone to encourage me. I will never need anyone to encourage me. Yes, sir. Something we've started. Even God knows. This thing, no. Do you know what Jacob said? He said, I will never let you go until we finish this thing, no. And what did he do? He sent his family away. That's why we say the loneliness of the supernatural. Yes, you must come to that point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even the one you love, the woman he labored yes. for, he sent them, all of you get out of here. Go, go. Wow. You don't love me anymore. I don't. Go, leave me alone. The Lord that I love you, what has he done for me? Your father made me a slave. All of you go, 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 go. go. Even when he finally saw Esau, he said, take everything I don't want again. It's just me and God. What we're saying is, you, you, don't, you don't have to even get to a point where you'll be sending family members away. No, that's not. What we're saying is, Jesus said, count the cost. Sit down. You can even still be within your, you can still be in your father's house, in your mother's house, but your mind is already made up. Yes, I'm going to live for the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to live for the Lord. Do you know in your living for the Lord, by reason of a decision, there could be some traditional rights your family is into. And they may need your presence. And you say you will not do it. It's also a cost you must consider too. Jesus said you must count the cost. What if that idol strikes you with, with lupus? You say, I'm still not going to. No matter what. Someone says, what, what if that, that masquerade appears? Someone says, I'll cast it out in the name of Jesus. Jesus says, wait, 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 before the name of Jesus. He says, count the cost first. What if that idol attacks you? Do you know that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were actually thrown into re fire? Yes, sir. Not plastic fire. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Not uh, graphics, have you? Yes, sir. Not an fire. Yes, Re fire. Ah. You are not listening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, please answer us now. Yes, they, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into re fire. Yes, sir. Fire that cooks food. Yes, sir. Fire that melts gold. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, re fire. Yes, sir. And before they were thrown in, the king said, make it seven times hotter. Yes, such that the guy who was doing it, mm. by the seventh time, he himself was burnt. Oh, yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one controlling the fire, the fire burnt him and yes, killed him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that not an opportunity for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to say, please, sir, <laughs> where so, who, if I will prostrate, where is that your idol? Who, who say, God, please forgive me. Yes. It, it was it was zeal without perfect knowledge. Yes, they sir. said, no, sir. Oh, not bad. Yes, even if you throw us into this fire, even if God does not save us, mm. because they made provisions for that. Yes, they, said, they, they knew. So they were, they, ah. they were even acting on probability. Yes, sir. They were not, yes. they were not sure. Yes, sir. They just know this is not our God. Yes. They said, we know our God will save us. But even if he does not save us, that means 
It was not a matter of faith. Yes, it was a matter of probability. Yes, but their mind was already made up. Yes, Jesus sir. said, count the cost. Yes, this thing, whether it was or not, yes, we must see the end. Yes, Remember what we said, I told, I told, we told you, we said to the Lord once. Yes. I said, if at the end, this thing was all a game, yes. I've been able to prove one thing yes, to sir. you. And the Holy Spirit said, what is that? I said, that thing is, I've been able to prove to you that I can be lawyer. Yes, sir. It's just that you were false. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was lawyer to a false God. <coughs> and then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, because you have said so, you will surely see the, the end of the matter. Yes. Then you will know this thing is not false. Yes, sir. I said, no problem. Let's do it. That is why Muslims who give their heart to Christ are dangerous yes. for God. Yes, sir. Because of where they are coming yes, from. Sir, sir. Because in Islam, from childhood, their mind is already made up. They yes, were sir. trained to make up their mind yes, from childhood. Yes, sir. Do you know I was a Muslim before? Yes, sir. You've told some of you, I was a Muslim before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> some of us know where we are coming from. These guys were taking a risk. They were not even sure. Even the God that they were bragging on behalf of never spoke to them one day. Never said, hello, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. Never did. They never, shh, until they entered that fire, they never saw the appearance of any angel. Never. Yes, sir. But their mind was still made up. Yes, sir. That was what God rewards. Yes, sir. They were not anointed, but they did what anointed men can do. Yes, sir. You see fire, you this anointed ah, man. Yes, sir. Even Keto alone said, you did like this. Keto, even the lasagna you wanted to eat, the thing, it, you still you still ate it. The thing that burnt you. I thought you would have thrown it away. You still ate it. These men were thrown into the fire. And the Bible says the fire had no power. On them, yes, on their clothes, wow. on their hair. The Bible says the fire had no power, wow. which means the the fire does have power, yes, but sir. not on this man. Yes, Why? The ability to finish where resides with you and not with God and His anointing and His grace. Yes, it is all up to you. Yes, Jesus said, "Don't stand before you decide. Sit down first. Sit down. Sit down." So, when you come to church and you sit like this, it's an opportunity for you to what? count the cost while listening to the message. Yes. Many don't want to do it. Yes, sir. Many people are looking for cheap ways. Yeah, yeah. Sure, cheap ways. I knew how many times, because of the kind of family I came from, from my mother's side, I knew how many times I was told to, to give sacrifices to the goddess. Because in my mother's family, they did worship a goddess. More or less like a fertility goddess who can make anyone flourish, mm. prosper. And my auntie told me, they have, she has gone to inquire on my behalf. And she used to mock me. She would say, Pastor, give me money. And I was just like, don't worry, I'll bring plenty of money. She said, mm, I was offering today. Did you have offering? I mean, <laughs> she said, yeah, come and pay tight. After I gave you money for school fees, was, I said, you did, don't worry. Let the whole... <laughs> <laughs> she said, wait, don't waste your time. I went to inquire for you. Now, this is Osi who went to school. But this is my auntie. She did not have the opportunity to go to school, but she knows the kind of voodoo school she went to. They who say, I went to inquire for you. They said, and I'll honestly tell you, the first time they told me, they said, John, <laughs> <laughs> said buy gin, um, buy gin, dry gin, and um, buy sweets. Distribute it share. I record. I did it the first time. And doors open. Say hey, now that doors have opened, you need to keep doing it. Keep doing it too. Oh. And I said wait. Oh. <laughs> then I was just learning the things of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, but finally, I started. I started reading some books. Books written by Watchman Nee, Dr. Yonggi Cho. Started reading. My, my biological father actually gave me one book of Dr. Yonggi Cho. Holy Spirit, my senior partner. 
So I started reading that book. It was when I was reading that book, some crisis came up. So she told me again, you need to keep doing it. I said, I'm not going to do it again. And it took months. It took five years. Five years. Dryness. Dryness. I used to go looking for a job. They would tell me I'm too qualified. Mm -hmm. I was okay, fine. I, I would go and remain. And they say, take, my qualifications would say, take this one out, take this one out, take this one out. I'll go and retire. I'll send it. They'll say, ah, the company's budget. They, they, they did not make budget for, for your pay grade. They used to do that to me all the time, all the time. For five years without job. Two master's degree. No job. So my, my auntie, periodically she will call, Pastor, <laughs> the gods are angry. The water goddess, because from my mother's family, they used to make sacrifices to the water spirits. That's where I got this tribal marks when I was young. That's where I, all, the, all my body you see in seashore because they said I was a child from the river. Yeah, I was told that. And they used to, and my mother was faithful in those things because she didn't know any better. I can't tell that. Well, let's continue. It's not our business. <laughs> And sometimes I recall some of these incisions. I recall then these incisions in my hands. I recall sometimes blood, it will burst out, blood will start coming out. So you say, they say the gods are angry. Just, okay, one time they say, buy sweets, give to children. I say, I will not do it. Then I started having ulcer. Oh, vomit blood, blood. Say, I will not do it. I'll be rolling on the floor. I'll be rolling on the floor, vomiting blood. My younger brother and my sisters and my cousins, they'll be looking at me like this. They'll say, Pastor. I said, don't worry. And I'll stand up and say, the Lord is my righteousness. And I'll put my hand in my stomach and I'll be coughing blood. The Lord is my righteousness. The Lord is my righteousness. And I prayed it for four years. The Lord is my righteousness. The Lord is my righteousness. There's this big tablet. It's like peppermint that the pharmacist used to give me for ulcer. I will lick everything. They say too much of it is bad, though. I'll lick everything. I say the Lord is my righteousness, and I'll be vomiting blood. The Lord is my righteousness. I refuse to die. I cannot be die. We don't die young. And I used to say it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I didn't go. My biological father was a pastor. And I never went to meet him for prayers. Never did. I said, man, this thing I must have. I mean, look, if I, run, if I keep running to my biological father every time for prayers, what happens when he's not there? So I said, no, man, I can't handle this thing. Yes, With yes, what sir. I already know. Yes, but I finally discovered it was a matter of you making up your mind. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, sit down and count the cost. So when I said I refuse to give sacrifices, yes. I will not buy gin. I will not share candy with children. I will not give cola not. That's what the spirit wants. Or go to the river, pour gin inside the water. Remember, you're a child from the river. That's actually that's what they knew me for. My from my family, they knew me as a child from the river. So go to the river, any stream, anywhere you are, pour, pour, pour this in. Say I will not do it. Yes, sir. And I recall then when I have the opportunity to even see like a pool of water, I say you water. You can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to, I used to be crazy. They say, what is wrong with this guy? No! Jesus said, count the cost. Count the cost! Otherwise, you won't finish. Yes, it's not anointing. No. Yes, anointing cannot help you finish. Yes, it's not about sitting down to tell people what you have gone through. No, who has time to listen to you? The reason why you are listening to me is because you have seen something in us that you probably like. Yes, sir. Do you understand? It's value. Yes, sir. That's why you are listening. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you have time to do some other things. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So the question is, who has time to listen to you? We told you, we said John C. Maxwell. I only just give 10 minutes. I was like, what is he saying? But people were like, oh, they were taking notes. Executives. I said, oh. 
Do you understand? Why? God has increased his value. Yes, value. Before the eyes of those people. Yes, sir. I said, Lord, I don't know what he's saying. But if, he, if something can be working for him, Lord, you can do something for me. Because, Lord, you interrupted me. Yes, sir. And I decided to go along. So, Lord, you must have something better. But you see, all God is looking for is for you. Jesus, Jesus did not lie to anyone. Listen, don't think Jesus deceived you. Jesus said, brother, before you follow me, if you are intending to follow me, consider your walk with God as building a tower. It's a tower walk. Yes, sir. Because you don't build a tower down, you build a tower up. So you walk up your way up to the top. Jesus said the Christian life is you walking your way from the basement up to the top. Yes, sir. And it costs much. Jesus says, sit down to count it. So, those 30 years of Jesus under submission, it was him counting the cost. Yeah. What it would take him. Yeah. It yes, took sir. Jesus 30 years to learn what it means to be obedient. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hebrews 5 verses 8 tells us Jesus had to learn obedience. Yeah. Jesus had to learn it and it took him 30 years to learn it. Because the Bible says obedience is better. Yes, sir. Than sacrifice. Yes, sir. Living a sacrificial life is nonsense. Somebody say, I said, just it pays to obey. And the Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Yes, sir. King David said, I was afflicted when I went astray. Yes, sir. So, in our next class, we're going to look at really, should my supernatural work with God be lonely? No. There's a particular group of people that God expects you to take along with you. Yes, sir. But certainly not family. Exactly. Now, for instance, now, Brother Joshua is here. His younger brother is here too. They are, all, they are both fervent for the Lord, just like the way you have James and John. Yes, but you see, no one forced the other. Yes, they all had to make an individual decision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they can inspire each other, yes, which is good. Yes, That's a good advantage. Yes, they can inspire each other as siblings. Yes, sir. Pastor Favor and Brother Ekin are here as siblings. Yes, they can inspire each other, yes, but it would be wrong for Brother Ekin to say, the reason why I'm doing this Christianity in the first place is because of my mother. Mm. Because these guys are here with their mother too. Yes, it's because of my mother. Mm. So what happens if something happens to your mother? Mm. No, this thing had to be personal. Decision. Yes, sir. So say, what if I'm not sure? Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not sure. But it paid off. It worked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible said the fire had no power. Yes, sir. God wanted to show the world something that fire really does not have power on certain people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What kind of people? Those of us who yes. have made up our yes, minds. Yes, sir. Not on the anointed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not anointed. Never anointed. But their mind, their decision, yes, sir. it repelled the power of fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The hack and witches attack this kind of men. No. You need to make up your mind. Yes, Don't be letting a witch come and wee every night on your face when you sleep. You wake up with witchcraft slime. Then you go to the office, people don't like you. Every day. No, from this day forward, enough is enough. I must, I must sleep well. Let me see the witch that will come and trouble my sleep. And no, where's that witch? Any, enough is enough. Someone say, what if they come? Let them come. They will see a difference. You know, when we teach you the word of God, do you know what it does to you? It's an injection. It injects power into you. And when it does, your light becomes brighter. In the spirit, is one of the ways to tell you have increased in power is how forces of darkness react around you. Because your light shines brighter. And that light, it burns. But the way it burns, it, it surges into an opposing power's body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No more oppression again. No more oppression. Say you this bank account, you must start receiving money. I, I, I didn't open you for nothing. And no 
enough is enough. How can I be receiving back statements always in red? No, no. Now, now it must be black. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. This bank account flourishing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know? Listen. One of the things you never find yourself in a situation where you begin to explain your failures, or someone is explaining your failures to you. How come I didn't make it with this talk? He, he said. Um, you know, because of the market, the market is volatile. Is this? Is this? Oh, no, no, no. Some people still need money. Yes, I do. In the stock market today, you have losers and gainers. Mm. That's how they. Yes, those who gained and those who lost. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. That's true. That's true. That's true. It is those who lost, and you know, both require explanation. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Why is it that yours cannot be explained for the gain? Why do they have to always explain your loss to you? Take it easy, you know, we tried everything. No, and not, no, 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 no. Enough is enough. Enough is enough! And that is, that is the easiest way to enlarge your mind. Yes, sir. When your mind is made up, it enlarges. Yes, sir. Because that period of trying to make up your mind, you are pushing it. You have, yes. it's, an it's an elastic. You are pushing it on every side. Yes, sir. To see whether you can accommodate the idea. Yes, sir. Listen, something should trouble your mind to cause it to expand. Yes, sir. Don't ever allow anything that troubles your mind make your mind to shrink. Yes. Someone say, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. It's like a lady. Maybe she was heartbroken. Then she said, no, I'll never fall in love again. No, 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 come on. Your mind is shrinking. Mm -mm. Say no, I'll meet a better man. Yeah. One who even one who will even see me as his God. Yes. Yes. In the likeness of men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. I guess you're upset. No. No. You understand? No. Or oh, a lady. Say, man, no. God will give me a woman that will honor me. She, and she will, she will be finer than all this. Oh, no. Yes, sir. 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 Uh -uh. <laughs> Telling you. Yes, sir. Shaquan that says she does not have time for me. You will see. <laughs> oh, you, you, you will be a receptionist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, notice what Jesus said as we close. Less happily. So, Jesus is saying you can start happy. Yes, but will you always be happy? That's why you need to make up your mind before you start. Yes, sir. He said otherwise... You happily start, less happily, after he had laid the foundation, he is not able to finish. All that behold it will mock him. So, Christian, Jesus is saying, people can, your Christianity can be a subject of mockery. So, I say, yeah, it's true, I failed, eh, but I will still continue this thing. So, I say, go and ask God for forgiveness. Say, I'm not going to ask God for forgiveness. I will follow God till we finish this thing. He yes, must sir. know that I've been following him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you see, one of the things, the way the subject of forgiveness and confession has been preached so much, so much, the way it has been preached in the church, in the churches, it has been preached in such a way that it makes people feel unworthy that they are not good enough to continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what we're saying is that you are good enough to finish. Not, yes, even, not, just, not just only to continue, but to finish. Yes, sir. You did this. Yeah, it's true. Yes, sir. And, and you still call yourself a Christian. You say, yes, I'm a Christian. We must see this thing to the end. Even Jesus said it is finished. You think Jesus didn't know where they were taking him to? Wait, wait, wait. wait let's be sure. When Jesus, when they prepared a cross and told him to carry it, you think he didn't know where he was going to? Please answer now. Yeah? Yes, Do you know what Jesus was trying to prove? He was not trying to save people, the world. You know people think that he died on the cross brought salvation. The death of Jesus did not bring salvation at all. Jesus died because of envy. They were jealous of him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matthew 27 verses 16 to 18 says they were jealous of him. That was why Jesus died. Jesus did not need to die to be a savior. He already said at the communion, my blood was shed for the washing away of sins. It was already done, shed, past tense. 
But Matthew 27, verses 16 to 18, Matthew 27, verses 16 to 18 says, Jesus was killed because of envy. But what Jesus was trying to prove, even though he knew why they wanted to kill him, was that in John chapter 15, from verses 13, he had already told them, greater love has no man than this, than a man should give his life for his friend. He was trying to prove his love to his disciples. That was why he died. He was trying to prove his love, not to be a Messiah. The disciples that betrayed him, that ran away from him, he wanted to prove to them that he loved them. Yes, That's why he died. Because he already said it, that he would lay his life for them. Yes, sir. And he did. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. He said, greater love had no man than this, that a man should give his life for his friends. He was trying to prove to them. Because he called them in that John chapter 15, friends. From verses 13 to verses 16. He called them friends into verse 17. And he wanted to prove it to them that of the truth you are my friends. And he said, I will see to the end to make you understand you are my friend. And when he died, he came back. Yes, sir. He said, I told you, you are my friends. Yes, <laughs> and even when Zachariah saw it in the visions, what the holes in his hands meant, he said, It was done to me in the home of my friends. He was still acknowledging they are my friends. I've been able to prove to them. Yes, sir. So we'll discuss something about that in our next class on this subject. So you see, you need to make up your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that it doesn't look like they are trying to encourage you to come and serve God. Just go. You will encounter God someday. Yeah. We like keep keeping on. We don't have time for that. No! With what is happening in the world, who yes, has time sir. to come and sit down with How many pastors do counseling today? They don't have time. Yeah. Some of them now they are booking appointment for flu shot. You think they will have time for, <laughs> for, for, for counseling? How many pastors today? Who do you want to counsel? With their virus. Even pastor is running away. Say, they stay there. Or, or yeah, talk to me. What's, take speaker. Take mic. Talk to me. What's your problem? <laughs> Even pastor is afraid. Not us. The virus has no power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the truth. You may have had symptoms, yes. but it does wow. symptoms is not the real thing. It, it does not matter. It, matter. it is inconsequential. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So can people in your car, you don't know. As they are breathing the air, they can breathe virus. You say no. By the time they get to my car, the virus dies. As they enter their car, they are free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make up your mind. Yes, sir. What we're showing you is there are some things the anointing will not, not do. do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. So who determines your end? God, yes. anointing, or you? Yes. You. Not even Brother Elsie. Not even your pastor. Yes. You are the one to determine yes. your end. So Jesus said, sit down and do what? Count the cost. He said, because that's the only way you'll be able to what? Finish. Otherwise, people will laugh at you. Yes, sir. Don't be a laughing stock. Yes, sir. Jesus said, please, don't make yourself a laughing stock. Yes, sir. Don't make yourself a laughing stock. Yes, sir. Jesus said it. Don't, people, don't let people look at you and say, hey, and you call yourself a Christian. Ah, she used to be a Christian, no. Mm -hmm. he, 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 I thought she used to be a pastor. Nah, she, she's now a DJ in the club. Say, ah. as we DJ, we, go to, we must serve God. Yes, sir. God, you are in yes, trouble. Yes, sir. Who will DJ for you? Yes, sir. One guy said to us, the reason why yeah, that he's a DJ too, he said, he said he, even though, he said, Brother, I love God though. I said, I know. He said, that's why sometimes, some, some, in the course of DJ, sometimes I play Christian music too. To let God know, God, I'm still your child. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah, I know he saw that. <laughs> That's the truth, though. Yes, sir. Yes. The guy is not ready to give up. Say, forget, even though I do DJ, I'm not doing it for fun. I'm using it to make money. Yes. Then I'll come and give God offering. Yes, 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 yes. 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 What are we yes. talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> as far as it's concerned, I forget. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if I DJ, I love God. I love God. Yes. <laughs> I know of a pastor. He used to be my pastor many years back. What he told me was, he, says he, he used to be a security officer in New York, but he, he went to school, improved himself, and became very successful 
with the city of New York. But he said, when I, when I was in security, I deliberately joined the ocean department. That was before he became a pastor. He said, I deliberately joined the ocean department. I said, why, sir? He said, because, you know, I, I do security overnight. And I know I have to be in church. And I can't be sleeping on pastor because I saw myself as somebody pastor is counting on. So I decided to join the ocean department so that I can always stand. And once I stand, I can't sleep. Yes, sir. I said, wow. He said, well, you see where I am today. I'm a pastor. And I'm a director with the city of New York. I said, yeah, God has excelled you. I said, I'm joyful for you. Yeah, God has increased this value. Yes, you see that? He could have, he had every good logical reason to say, let, let me just sleep. You know, ah, I walked overnight. There's a brother here that comes to church. He comes from work every Sunday. There's a brother. I know him, him and his family. They come to church from work. He just comes in, showers, and dresses up and comes to church and does not sleep. I've never seen him do like this. He said, after service, he will not go home and sleep. He said, I have to come to church. He said, I'm browsing. Moreover, even what you teach self, I don't know why people sleep, but what do you, what do you even teach self? The way he fires us, we, we can't even think of sleeping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make up your mind, though. Some yes, are, sir. And you know, yes, sir. the thing, one thing about making up your mind is that you might be working with those who have already made up your mind, yet you are yet to make up of your mind. And you think that because you guys are going to the same place, you guys will have the same outcome. No, the guy's mind is already made up. That's why when, the, when there was a gunshot, he escaped. You, you were trapped. You now became a ransom. They were not asking for ransom. Because his mind was already made up that, mm -mm. I will not be a hostage. You see why I found my way out of trouble? <laughs> yes, sir. I found my way out of trouble. I will never be trapped by the devil. Well, I guess you are afraid of the devil. I will never be trapped by the devil. I am a success forever more. I am a success forever more. I will never fail in my life. I am a success forever more. I am prosperous forever more. I am prosperous forever more. I am a success forever more. The spiritual forces of heaven have opened my way. They are favoring me. They ensure that I can never be conquered. Yes. They ensure that I can never be defeated. I am favored. Yes. I'm on my way to the top. Jesus said, build your tower. I have what it takes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have what it takes. Listen, you can be the youngest billionaire. Yeah. You can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who, who said you cannot be the governor of this state? It's true. With all your African accent, you are still telling white people, I'm signing executive order. Yes, sir. I'm signing executive order. Yes. That's what became yes. of Joseph. Yes, sir. Joseph, there was nobody to pity him. He didn't even need the pity of anyone. He made up his mind. Yes, sir. I must rule this country. I'm I'm this country. The first yes, civilized sir. nation of the world, Egypt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Egypt is the first civilized nation of this world. Yes, sir. And he went and became the prime minister there as a foreigner there. without election. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. The Pharaoh said, me, I am electoral college. I am vote. Oh. I am everything. Yes. You are next to me. Yes. The only person that is higher than you is me. Yes, sir. And your God. Yes, sir. That's what he told Joseph. Yes, sir. Run the country as you like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If God is with you, yes, sir. Your value will increase. Now, as you go home, that is what will start happening to you. People who never used to give you audience, they will start listening to you. Yes, sir. And any advice you give them will work out for them. Yes, Anything you tell them. You know, sometimes some people think that we even know what people should really do. 
If God is not showing you anything you don't know, but God can increase your value where anything you say, yes, sir. God does it to prove to you yes. that you are the one He has exalted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where you can tell somebody, this is what your dream means. Yes. Yes. yes! How do you know? Are you the one that dreamt? He said, I, I can't. Ah, ah. Meanwhile, God didn't tell you anything, but God said, because you said so, yes. it will happen that way. Yes. Yes, I receive. Yes, I receive. We must see the end of this matter. My supernatural life will not be lonely. Because it shouldn't really. I know God called me alone. But my walk with him should not be alone. It should not be lonely. But my spiritual walk should not be lonely. I like that. I know God called me alone. But my spiritual walk with God should never be lonely. Yes, sir. Talk to him about that. Lord, from this day forward, my eternal spiritual walk with you will never be lonely. I know you called me alone. You have already blessed me. You have increased me already. May my spiritual walk with you never be lonely. May never be lonely. 